G'day, my name's Luke Richards and this is my application video for the Shuttleworth Foundation's 2021 Fellowships. Now, you might be wondering why I'm filming my application video in my bedroom and not in the field. Well, I figured what's more fitting for a 2020 video than to film it in your bedroom where we've been working from home all year. Now, a quick bit about me. I'm a postgraduate researcher at Monash University and my research area really looks at novel methods to drive collaboration between conservation and agriculture for the purpose of future-proofing and securing our wildlife beyond 2050. Alongside this, I manage the social enterprise Reground. Uh, we're a waste behaviour change consultancy. And in a previous life, I was a civil engineer and a construction project manager. Now, as I mentioned, my research area focuses on novel methods to drive collaboration between conservation and agriculture. You might be wondering, why am I so interested in this area? Why is this important? And why is this relevant to the Shuttleworth Foundation? Well, to begin to answer that, why don't we just look at the UN uh, projections that says that by 2050, we're going to need to produce 70% more food than we are presently. Now, under current agricultural practices, this will equate to roughly 1 billion hectares worth of wild land being converted to pastoral lands. And this is roughly 25% of all remaining wild habitats. So if you stop and consider that we're already in the sixth mass extinction event, and we're standing to lose 25% of all remaining wild ecosystems by 2050, it's, it's suffice to say that we're on track to decimate our wild ecosystems and the wildlife found within it. So what are we doing about it? Well, I believe the solution to ensure that our wildlife does have a future on the landscape is to really drive home its benefit to agriculture. We need the agricultural community and society by and large to recognize our reliance upon wildlife and wild systems to generate the food that we require. If we can prove this quantitatively, then perhaps wildlife has a place in humanity's future. But how do we do that? Well, I believe we need to look at soil health. This is the strata shared by conservation, shared by wildlife, and shared by agriculture. I believe this is the commonality where the answers will lie, where we can develop a novel uh, land management model that drives collaboration between agriculture and conservation in an almost partnership, uh, partnering over the unified goal of preserving and regenerating soil health. However, herein lies a problem. Conservationists currently do not monitor soil health due to the costs involved and the untimely turnaround in results. Sometimes you're looking at weeks or months if you're sending samples from a remote site to a metro lab. So what I'm doing is I'm developing a novel open source soil health monitoring network in partnership with Bush Heritage Australia, who are one of Australia's largest landowners owning over 11 million hectares worth of uh, landscape. I'm also collaborating with the soil scientists at Monash University and the open source tech developers Freak Labs. We're in the middle of prototyping as we speak and we're due to uh, conduct our pilot field testing in January of 2021. By June of 2021, we're planning a scaled rollout of the soil health monitoring network to 11 priority sites all around Australia who possess a diversity of soil conditions. This is very important for the accumulation of our baseline data to understand the impact that land management has on soil health and to basically reverse engineer and predict future restoration or cropping potential of the soils based on their health. Now, the, the priority sites that we've selected have a diversity of soil types, soil grades, topology, geography, land use history, and current land use practice. And this is integral to the success of the project. It is my strong belief and the belief of our diverse project team that this project possesses the potential to drive truly paradigm shifting models in collaboration between agriculture and conservation. And the purpose of this is twofold. It's to secure the food bowls of the world so that we can provide this 70% more food, but it's also to secure the future of our wild world. I truly believe that humanity's very essence is tied to this wild world, our creativity, our love, our passion. Uh, our sense of exploration, all of this hinges on the wild world that we're currently looking at losing. 
I truly hope you see the value of this project and I would love to speak to you in greater depth uh, about the nuances of the project and my application later on down the track. Thank you.